I have partnered with Eastern Jungle Gym. They have provided the brackets to get this swing set installed. It comes with two really heavy duty metal brackets that accept a four by four on the bottom and a four by six up top here. And it also comes with washers and these bolts. So they will be able to attach to the wood and be very secure. It's gonna make this build a lot easier than it would have been otherwise. Let's get started here. I'm going to take one of my four by fours and get this bracket put into place. Now, whenever you look for lumber for this project, sometimes your lumber is gonna be a little bit different size. So you wanna make sure that you measure it at the lumber yard so that it is going to fit your project here. Uh, I've got one side of my four by six that's gonna need a little bit of shaving down. We'll get to that in just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna use this drill bit here in the center of my holes. And then the provided hardware here has got these bolts and uh, some washers. Go ahead and put a washer on there. And then I've got a socket set hooked up to my impact driver. There we go. Makes that process nice and quick. Just gonna continue to take washers and bolts here and continue to put them in. Now that I have that side installed, I'm going to flip this over and get the other side done as well. They've definitely made sure there's gonna be plenty of attachment points for these bolts. The brackets are now attached very securely on all sides. Just got those cinched down nice and tight. So now it's time to get these two into position so that the four by six can be put in there. Like I said, one of these sides is gonna have to be shaved down a little bit to fit in there. So let's just see how it goes. Let's set these up real quick. I can already tell from moving this once that I'm gonna to have to have a middle support because it wants to uh, rock a bit too much. So I've got a 10 foot two by six that's treated and I'm just going to cut this in half. So I'm gonna have two five foot pieces and that's going to allow me to support between these two and it should be really nice here. Okay, I've got this stretched out as far as it needs to be. And I'm just gonna find the point where this is going to be even and in the middle. So let me get my tape measure real quick and, and find that point. That's 68 and a half. Yeah, that looks pretty good right there. I'm building this on a Tuesday here in the mountains, which means it rains every 10 minutes, so I've been actually fighting three different clouds that have passed over and dropped a good bit of rain. So I'm gonna attempt now to get the cross piece installed here. We're gonna see how well this is gonna do. I have a feeling that installing this upright is gonna be at least a two person job. We'll see how well it goes. Let's see how well this goes, or if I end up having to chase this thing all over the ground here. Oh, I did a test fit earlier and it did work. So maybe an angle thing here. Yeah. Come 
Okay, I think that did it. It was a bit awkward, but it worked. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work on the other one though because it may be a little hard to keep that in the air. Okay, let me go ahead and put the bolts in this one real quick. Okay, this part might be interesting. <laughs> Not too bad. Now I have to get the other piece attached to that. I know this side was a little bit small, so I'm using a regular hand plane just to cut back a little bit of material on two sides, about a foot back, and that should give me enough extra to get this in here. I imagine you could use a sander or a chisel, lots of different things to get this cut back, but I felt like the plane was good enough for me. Some things in life are just two person jobs and I think this one is one of them. So I finally managed to get uh, this piece of the bracket onto the 4x6. I think it would have actually been easier to get that on first and then the legs. But anyway, it's done now. So this one goes into about right here. Uh, I couldn't get it to go any further. Good enough. So let's see about getting this to stand up. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it by myself, but we will try. That's all the try I'm gonna give it. I'll see if my dad can come over here in a couple hours and we'll stand this up. Turns out trying to lift this thing by oneself is not going to be a good idea. It weighs about 20 bazillion pounds and I can only pick up about 15 bazillion myself. So anyway, it's up now thanks to the help of my dad. So something that's not in the instructions but I'm going to add anyway. On each leg I'm going to sink a piece of rebar. This is somewhere around 18 inches at uh, an angle like this. And then I'm gonna use some plumber's tape around that, also known as hanger tape. Uh, and that looks like this right here. Yeah, this stuff. And it's just gonna basically give a little extra support so that when three kids are swinging on this at the same time, it's not going to rock back and forth. I feel like having those supports is going to make a big difference on this thing swaying back and forth. So with all four of those done, I am now going to be getting the swing up here. I'm going to have three swings total, one disc in the middle, and then two regular swings on the side. So I've got the disc swing here. I'm going to go ahead and get that assembled and then we will throw it up here. It looks like the ropes on my swing are about 32 inches apart. And so I'm going to have one disc swing and two regular swings up here. So I want to find the six foot mark and that would be my center point.
Looks like my swing set is a bit too tall for this disc. I'll have to go purchase some chain at the hardware store. But uh, I think this thing is rated to hold my weight, so I'll just give it a try here. Yeah, that's not bad. <laughs> so I'll get some more chain and we'll get the kids out here to uh, swing on this thing. I got the two swings on the side of the disc and it is looking very nice. I can't uh, tell you how much I've enjoyed working with the Eastern Jungle Gym bracket. Makes this whole process very easy. The main thing you have to look out for is that the uh, dimensions of your lumber will fit into these brackets nicely. Now I highly recommend that you have one of these cross braces down here. That has been very handy. And also the rebar sunk into the ground down here with some of that uh, plumber's tape has helped this thing not to sway even the little, uh, the smallest bit here whenever people are swinging. So I definitely recommend using this setup. You love the swing? Yeah, because it goes low and higher. It goes higher and higher? Uh-huh. Are you ready? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on tight. Here we go. Uh-uh. <laughs> Whee! Whee! Hold on tight. Here we go. <laughs> Whee! It's so fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Um, I, I think, um, it, it's kind of big for me. It's kind of big for you? So, I'm not going to do this over here. Okay. You're going to slow you down? Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to slow you down. Look! I'm done. Okay. There you go. Whoa! Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking to build your own swing set, then check out the Eastern Jungle Gym Bracket. I have a link to those in the description down below. And I also have links to these two different types of swing if you are wanting to do the exact same thing as I've got here. If you would, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, ring the notification bell so you can find the updates to all of my stuff going on here around the house. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.